Hey guys, it's Ashley G5755 here, and I'm gonna tell you what to do after you've jailbroken your iPod Touch. So basically, some people say that jailbreaking's not worth it because it voids the warranty on Apple. But uh, and even if you don't have, if even if you haven't taken out a warranty, Apple still give you free of charge a one-year warranty. Now, once you, if you have decided to jailbreak your iPod, you'll want to go into Cydia and download Winterboard. That basically lets you change all the themes. So basically, go to search. Once you've opened up Cydia, go to search. Type in Winterboard. Now, it should come up here. A little thing that says Winterboard. I'm not sure you can see that. I'll put a thing in the description. And then click Winterboard. And it'll come up with this. And then here, where mine says modify, it'll say install, because I've already installed it. So you click install, and then download Winterboard. Then to download the theme, if you want to search for a certain theme, you click search, but there's also different themes that you can get. So you've got sections to get to the themes, and scroll down until you see... Scroll down until you see... Scroll down until you see themes. Right there, themes. So you click themes. Now I'm just going to click on a random one, just a black theme. And then you click install in the top corner. And then click confirm. You should do that with Winterboard as well. So you click confirm. And then once it's finished downloading, it takes ages just to reload. It just gets quite annoying. And then click return to Cydia. And that should go back to Cydia. Oh, well mine's just like crashed so. Then you open up Winterboard and then click select themes. And then you choose the theme that's at the top, which says a black theme or whatever theme you've chosen. And then you click back and then it will um refresh the iPod so it can install the theme I've just lost it, I've lost my connection on VNC I'm going to open up VNC again Once the theme's done, it should look like that. Now, one, if you once you've loaded up the theme, you can also it's best if you um, download some theme uh, sources because a lot of sources have stuff which you can add, like Vinci. Vinci is what I'm using just now. But for Vinci, you need to go on the internet and download the Vinci server to your computer. And then basically what you do then is you can go to sources. There's uh I have a couple I've got like a few sources. One is touchmania.com cydia.touchmania.com. Another one is apt.ripdev.com. Another one d.imobilecinema.com sinful iphone repo dot com cedia dot my repo space dot com rats ninety six forward slash right rats ninety six and there's also cy dot sos iphone dot com and then there's a lot of stuff and once you've done I'll put all those in the 
link in the description. And once you've done that, you should uh, you should download this thing called SB Settings, and when you swipe the status bar, which is the thing at the top where it's got the battery and stuff, this slides down, and you can switch the Bluetooth on, switch the Wi-Fi off and on, change the brightness, click the dock button, which is that grey one in the middle. You can switch it off, respring the iPod, refresh it, and you can do lots more. So that's quite good, so just go into search once you've... I think it's in one of the, th the sources, but I'm not sure. So just type in SB settings. And then it should look like the Winterboard tool, the Winterboard app, that, that picture. And I've already installed it, so you just click install and confirm. And another thing which you can have is some of the good apps, which I've said in my last one, which I'll go through, are the SP Central, Simpson Central, and FG Central. FT Central's probably the least, well it's the best one for quality, but I think most of them are the same. But you can't download them on FG Central, Family Guy episodes, you can't download them. But on SP Central you can. And if you go to the normal app store, which is the iTunes app store, and then you can download da Download Manager Lite, I've got the full version. And you can watch you can download South Park episodes for free, which is quite good. And there's also you can also have a five more than five icons in the dock, which is in one of the sources. I think I remember which one it is. Basically, just open up Cydia and click Manage, and then Sources. So long to do this. There we go. Manage sources. I think it's Rip Dev. No, it's not that one. Maybe let's try this one. Sinful iPhone repo. The rats one, that might be it. Yeah. The rats iPhone repo is the Infini Dock in the rats one myrepospace.com forward slash rats96 it l allows you to have as much icons in the dock as you want and it can also have pages of the dock which is quite good another thing you can do which I did but then took off because it like slowed down my iPod was you can have InfiniBoard I think and you can also have a whole bunch of other stuff Infinite board basically lets you have if you go to search and type in five and then click search and then scroll down to F. This basically means you can have five rows, five columns, which is quite good because then you can have like thirty apps per page. Twenty five, thirty including the dock. Which is quite good. And there's also apps and games from Cydia. The Wolfenstein 3D which is called Wolf 3D Game like I think it's like three pound on the app store it's free in Cydia which I think is quite cool. The graphics probably aren't as good but you can also have um, tweaks which are quite cool they do stuff to the system yeah, that's like the five icon dock and stuff like that. And battery control. And you can also, if you download some of them. And there's one problem with uh, Cydia's apps. If you download a Cydia app, when you go to rearrange it, you'll notice that no X comes up across in the top left corner doesn't come up. And that basically means if you download Side Elite from the tweak section, then that will let you delete it, but it won't delete it from Cydia. Um, you can get emoji. <coughs> what stuff have I got? I've got managing packages. You can get different fonts, which I said from 
font swap the application battery control premium yeah that um yeah then you should when you don't when you get this sinful iphone repo source just ignore if it comes up with anything about illegal you won't get like done anything for it if you click on it and download battery control premium you can get the percentage i'm not sure if you can see that but mine says 100 percent you can get the percentage in the top left top right corner so that's quite cool but i should probably go because it's getting up to 10 minutes now so hope you have fun with cydia and once you've jailbroken your ipod so see you